Hello, better known one twin here. Welcome back, and this is another episode of Breath of Fire 4. I off screen walking down the mountain here, and now the villagers are like, What'd you do to the god of the mountain? Well, I put him to sleep permanently. Yeah, we already met you. And I think we already met the Mud Dragon. Why do they all have to look so fucking weird? Why is blue the only one here that actually makes sense? She's like, yeah, why does he have to join with his other half? Couldn't he just run away? Yeah, couldn't we just prevent that from happening? Uh, yeah, it would be bad. It means Ryu would be gone. Exactly. Yeah, why not? She didn't want to be brought here. Funny how she, uh... changed herself to a different image like that. Not just anyone can pacify the god of the mountain.
Yeah, all right. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go relax. Hmm, where the hell is everybody? Uh-oh. Oh no. Shit. Yeah, so we're gonna go back in the house. It's probably like the worst thing we could do. Yeah, he hesitates because now he's starting to feel a sentimental attachment to this village. And yet... And yet, I hesitate. Kind of shows that Falu kind of does have a soul a little bit, does have a little bit of compassion. It's like, well, even though I'm a god and these people are primitive as fuck, they're all right. They help me out. So, whatever. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Yeah, who'd have thought, huh? Did you live with him? It's none of your business, bozo. What? Use her on the serenade? What, you're gonna shoot her out of a cannon? What the hell is this guy planning? Will they use people for that fucking thing?
Hmm. And they're all like, how dare you? We like doing this. Yeah, you guys keep saying that. Okay. Seek out our true selves that we might gain our power. Great. Yeah, that's the uh, the dragon that destroyed Nina and Kray's Sandflyer. Fate, blah, blah. Okay, you are now able to draw upon the Wind Dragon's power. Let me learn Rainstorm. I'll be showing that off eventually. Uh, the only thing about Rainstorm though, uh, you can use it once. And then in order to use it again, you actually have to go to an inn and rest. Um, you could try and rest in camp, but that won't recharge it. So... Yeah, it's one of those abil abilities where it only charges up if you rest. It's not bad, though. She does have a point. I think I think I'd do my best to help the people of that world. <laughs> and Deese is like, oh brother, yeah. What a bunch of bull cocky. Yeah, so now we gotta beef Ryu up so there's a chance against Falu. So maybe we can absorb Falu. And then Ryu is free to do whatever he wants. Run! And just like that, we're out. Someone's knocking on your head. Wake up. 
Yeah, Urshan is no longer inside you. You're you're your own tin can now. The Imperial Army. Oh shit. This guy again, huh? Sorry, just needed to take a little bit of a break there. It would appear we have a problem, so I'm going to laugh my ass off. Anyways. With Urshan here, we are going to uh, make sure I have the best stuff equipped. Hmm. What should I give him? Her. Whatever. Increases concentration by 50%. It's actually quite good. But nah. Uh, let's see. Let's go with that. Yeah, I guess uh, agility doesn't really matter at this point. So let's go with chance of counterattack. What would I do, huh? What are you talking about? Who the heck are you, anyway? <laughs> I'm a big dumb tin can. You should beat him up, man. person I don't really call Urson a person but whatever Dude, what are you doing with your cape? What are you trying to hide from him? However, I'd be willing to forgive and forget if, if you tell me where I might find your friend the dragon. Um, uh, let me think about this. No. How's that? Yeah, we're not going to tell you. 
What? Person isn't inside you anymore. Yeah, you could do that. Or... Oh, shit. Man, you just fucked him up bad. Uh, that's a typo. No, will we? I think that's supposed to be now, will we? Yeah, ta-ta. Beat the shit out of Urshan. That bastard. That lousy bastard. You jerk. Yeah, I suppose it's worth a try. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what his intentions are, to be quite honest with you. Even after playing this game a few times, I still don't really know. I mean, what, he wants to rule the world? I guess. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Whatever. I don't know how I'm going to be able to do that. Anyway. Let's talk to the fairies again. Yep. Got to do this. Very, very important. Hey, look at that. Another fairy was born. Sina was born. Maki was born. And... Poof was born. Or Poth. Poth was born. Wow, this is a very stupid fairy. Zero intelligence. <laughs> And new items available, and new job available. Nice. Very nice. Alright, so... Let's check out the items. Okay, we can get panaceas, ammonias here we can buy now. Let's see what you sell. Oh, talk to the wrong one. I want to go out and play so I can buy something. Yeah, shut up. Scorched rice. I'll buy it just to buy it for another item. Cool. Alright, so before I mess around with more fairy job assigning. I think I'll just end the episode right here. That's all for this episode of Breath of Fire 4. In the next episode, we're going to finish up Chapter 2. This is Veteran 021. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.